All right, so this is going to be another episode of uh, Camaro restoration, and this is a 78 Camaro, and I'm in the process of uh, tearing this thing down. So I've got the hood off, obviously. I've got the fenders off, the front uh, bumper cover, and the front bumper. That's as far as I've gotten. In this episode, uh, this is going to be a pretty cool one, I think, if I can get there. And the plan is to uh, take the radiator support out, the radiator. I think all that will come out in one piece. And then I'm going to start working on this motor and uh, the transmission and see if I can get this uh, motor and transmission and get it pulled out. So let's see how far we get and uh, figure out where she's going to fight me on this one because she's fought me just about every step of the way on this teardown. So let's have some fun. All right, so like I said, I'm going to start with this uh, radiator support and radiator. And there's also an AC compressor back in there as well because this is an original AC car. So let me show you what I'm up against, and I don't think this is going to be too bad. And the cool thing is I think it's going to all come out in one piece. All right, so on this side, it looks uh, fairly straightforward, and this is the passenger side. You've got the uh, line that goes to the overflow can here. i got to cut that or take that off. I've got transmission line one there and transmission line number two there. Lower radiator hose down there looks pretty easy to get to, and then that... Uh, body mount looking bolt there that holds this um, radiator support on and I'm not going to take that off to the very end because once I disconnect all the lines on both sides I believe that that is all that's holding it is two bolts uh, this one and the one on the other side so let's take a look at what the other side has to offer all right on this side and this is the uh, driver's side you've got your upper radiator hose you've got two AC lines right there that connect to the uh, AC condenser and the AC condenser is right there in front of the radiator. And then you've got that body mount looking bolt right there. Um, but again, not going to do that to the very end. And that is it on this side. All right, so to get started, I'm going to uh, drain the radiator. And you do that by uh, turning that pet cock down there and getting that thing to uh, drain. So I'm going to start there, and then we'll go from there. All right, 42 hours later and this thing is still draining. Still got a little trickle to it. So I'm going to let it drain, uh, keep watching it. In the meantime, uh, I got the other AC line disconnected. I got my upper radiator hose disconnected. And everything's pretty much done on this side. And I'm going to start working on the uh, transmission lines and the lower radiator hose. And I'll be ready to undo these two bolts. One there and one on the other side. And pull this whole front front piece off. I think it'll all come out in one piece. Alright, 58 hours, 10 minutes, still draining. This thing is uh, obviously going slow and I'm trying to let it go because I don't want to make a mess when I pull the uh, lower radiator hose, but uh, I'm going to let it finish draining and then we'll get the other side. Alright, so back on this side, the uh, overflow uh, hose is out. Transmission lines are out and the lower radiator hose is out as well. Why is it the radiator hoses are such a pain? I had to cut that one to get it off. I'm sure it's been on there for a while, but I've never had good experiences with radiator hoses. All right, so this thing looks like it's ready to go. Uh, I'm going to unbolt the two body mount looking bolts, three quarter inch bolts, and I'm going to see if I can lift this thing off the whole front piece in one, uh, one assembly. So I'm not going to take it apart, and let's see how I do. All right, so that front, uh, that whole front assembly came off fairly easily and kind of just as I thought it would. And really nothing fought me too hard except the, uh, you know, the lower radiator hose. And honestly, this is probably the cleanest job I've ever done removing a radiator from a car. Uh, I made definitely a mess right there. Spilled some uh, antifreeze, but uh, pretty minimal spillage. So I'm pretty happy about that. 
All right, so now that that thing is out of the way, I can move on to the motor. And I've already been working on this one. I've got pretty much what I think is everything disconnected on this side, um, except for the motor mount. And you can kind of see it down in there. And the fuel pump was there. I took that off so uh, easier access to the motor mount. Uh, I've got the radiator hose off. Um, like I said, everything disconnected as far as I can tell on this side. All right, on the driver's side of the motor, kind of the same story. Uh, I moved the power steering pump because uh, I did buy that, and that's staying with me. Um, the motor mount is down there. It's kind of behind the power steering pump, so that kind of worked out. Over here, I've got the throttle cable and linkage off. Not completely out yet, but it's all unbolted. So here's what I have left to do to get the motor, motor out, and everything that I have left to do is pretty much underneath and I'm just gonna cut the exhaust off I know you probably can't see it through there but I'm gonna cut the exhaust off and let me show you underneath what I what I need to do all right so that red cable there is the uh, shift linkage and I need to get that off so that comes off with that bolt and there's a couple of bolts under here that fasten it to the uh, the transmission pan right there so the other thing that I have to do is take those two bolts off there. That holds that bracket that connects to the uh, catalytic converter. And then there's a big bolt under there. And that should be the only bolt for the, uh, for the, for the transmission mount. And I just kind of noticed I've got a speedometer cable up here. I've got to undo that as well. Uh, like I said earlier, I've got to cut my exhaust pipes. I'm not going to bother trying to salvage that. All right, so it was really hard to uh, film underneath the car and I was kind of all over the place. But I got the uh, transmission mounts uh, disconnected and as you can see from laying on the ground there, I got the exhaust out and uh, made really good progress. So I think, I think I've got everything disconnected except for the uh, main motor mount. So I'm gonna wait till I get a little tension on that chain on that engine hoist. And then I'm going to disconnect the motor mounts, and I'm hoping to have this thing out of here in about 10-15 minutes. So let's see how it goes. All right, so we successfully got the uh, engine out of the Camaro and uh, took a little bit of persuasion and, you know, we made kind of a mess because we couldn't get the plug into the end of the transmission uh, once the drive shaft kind of slid out uh, until we cleared the cross member. So uh, made a little bit of a mess, um, but that's all right because mission accomplished. So the motor's out, transmission's out, and again, everything obviously disconnected there. So uh, really interesting perspective to, to look in there. Uh, with the motor and transmission out. Um, I've got a lot of cleaning to do, um, but overall everything looks great. The subframe looks great. Uh, definitely covered in a layer of uh, grease, mud, dirt, 42 years worth, and so is kind of the tunnel of the transmission. So um, that's kind of good in a way because because that does prevent uh, rust from forming. So when you see that, um, hope that, you know, try not to be discouraged. Uh, because that typically means that that oil film that's on there would have pre prevented any rust from forming. So, uh, like I said, everything looks like it's in great shape, and I'm glad we got the motor and transmission out. All right, so next up, we're going to uh, kind of shift gears a little bit and go back to working on the block. We're going to get the clearancing of the block done. I'm going to continue to work on the car while that's going on. I'm going to get the firewall cleaned off, take everything off of it, and start stripping down the uh, subframe with the eventual goal to, uh, to get the subframe out of the car. So that's the plan, and uh, we'll see how, see how the plan comes together. So really appreciate you guys checking out this uh, video, checking out the channel. Hope you had a great Thanksgiving, and thanks for watching.